hello guys here is shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen today i am going to show you a very special recipe that is layered gujia it's very special for our diwali and holi festival i am showing you its texture it has so many visible layers as you can see and it's very crispy and very delicious to eat here is the texture so let's see the recipe at first we have to dry roast some ingredients I have taken a bowl of peanuts and now I'll dry roast them. We have to roast them on medium flame until they begin to split and we have to let them split for about 2 to 3 minutes and we have to stir them continuously. Now they are done. I am removing them from the pan. We have to cool them down and after cooling them down we have to make a coarse powder of them. Here they are. Now we have to roast some semolina. I have taken half a bowl of semolina and now I'll dry roast it. We have to keep the heat on the lowest and we have to roast it for about 10 to 12 minutes. And now a nice aroma is coming from the semolina and now it's done. I'm removing it. I'll clean the pan and now I am going to dry roast some dry fruits. I have taken some almonds, cashews and some raisins. You may take any kind of dry fruits according to your choice, there is no problem. Now they are done. I am removing them also. And at the end, we have to fry some coconut. I have taken about 2 cups of dry coconut, grated dry coconut. Now we have to fry it, dry roast it actually. We have to keep the heat on medium and dry roast it until a nice red color. We have to stir it continuously to make an even texture. Now it's done as you can see. It's of a nice red color. Now we have to turn the heat off and after turning heat off I am going to add some uh, peanut powder. It's that dry roasted peanut powder and I am not adding the full quantity, I have added about half quantity of it and now the dry fruits and the semolina. Of course turn the heat off now and at the end of this process I am adding some powdered sugar according to taste. You may check the taste to uh, maintain the quantity of the sugar. Now I am adding 1 teaspoon of green cardamom powder. I grinded some green cardamom along with some sugar into a fine powder. Now everything is mixed properly and our stuffing is ready. It's the stuffing for our gujia. Now keep the stuffing aside and let's go for the dough. Here I have taken a bowl and now I am adding about 2 and a half cup of maida that means all purpose flour. 2 and a half cup of maida. I have taken all purpose flour here but you may take wheat flour instead there is no problem. Now we will add half teaspoon of salt to taste and with it we need some oil. We need about one third cup of oil here. I am adding refined oil here but you may add ghee that means clarified butter that will give you the best result. And now we have to mix everything properly with our hand. This way I am showing you. Now it's ready. I am showing you the texture that we can form a laddu with the flour. This way. Now the flour is ready to make a dough. It will help our gujia be very soft and very crispy at the same time. Now we will add water gradually and make a dough. We have to make a soft dough just like the dough for our roti or chapati now let's knead it now the dough is ready as you can see we have to add a little oil from the upside and knead it again this will make the dough very smooth now it's ready i'm showing you the softness of the dough here it is it's a very soft dough. Now we have to rest it for 15 to 20 minutes with a lid. Within this time we have to make a cream. 
I am taking about one and a half tablespoon of rice flour and about two and a half tablespoon of corn flour here. You may take only rice flour or only corn flour here. There is no problem. But if both the flours are available, then mix them. Now I am adding some ghee gradually. And now we have to beat it to make a smooth cream. I'll add more ghee if needed and beat it until it's of a nice creamy texture. Now we have to beat the mixture very nicely with my spoon. This way. Now it's ready as you can see and 15 to 20 minutes are gone now go for making the gujiyas here is the dough i am taking a small part of the dough and now we have to make a roti i have taken chakli and belan that means a rolling pin and a surface we have to dust some dry flour and roll it We'll roll the dough uh, as like a simple roti or chapati. This is the thickness I'm showing you. It's ready. And now we'll make uh, more two to three rotis. And after that, we'll make the process of the layers. I'm rolling the second chapati. It's also ready. I'm taking it out into the same plate. And now here I have taken a roti and on this roti we have to spread the creamy mixture here. I will spread it with my hand because brush will not work properly for this. We have to spread it evenly. This will make our gujia very crispy and layered. This will help the layers open very nicely. Now it's ready. I have spread it evenly. On this roti we have to put another roti here and do the same thing with this also this way I am doing this I am putting it on the first roti very gently and now we have to spread this cream on it also it's ready now and we have to place another roti in the same way and do the same thing with it now I am adding four rotis here for one roll it's the last and I'll spread the cream on it also with my hand it's done now we have to roll all the rotis this way as I am showing you we have to do this very carefully and very gently. The roll is made and now we have to make it thinner. This way, I am pressing and pulling it as you can see to make the roll thinner. You can see the process that I am showing you this way now it's enough for this now we have to cut the roll into pieces I'm keeping about one inch length for every piece of roll this way as you can see so let's cut all the pieces Now they are done. I am removing all the pieces into a plate and keeping only one. And now we will make it round this way. And now we have to press it. 
not vertically we have to press it horizontally this way now it's ready now we have to dust some flour and roll it we have to roll it as a thin puri maintain the thickness of the puri because we need a thin puri to make it very crispy now it's ready as you can see you may see the layers of the puri they are very nicely visible now we have to make the gujia so we have to add some stuffing here on the puri and close the puri in the shape of a gujia now we need some water we'll add some water on the edge this way and now we'll seal the edge just like a dumpling this way i'm showing you now it's ready now you may add a design for the edge i'm doing it with a fork It's looking very cute and it's ready to be fried. So let's keep it aside and make the second gujia. I'm doing the same process for all the gujias. Now the second gujia I'll made with my hand. I'm making the design with my hand as you can see. I'm pressing it and rolling it. Here it is. is ready also so let's make all the gujias and here they are i have made all the gujias here and now we have to fry them deep fry them so i have taken some oil let's check the oil i have added a little dough and it's making bubbles very slowly that means it's very slightly hot and it's perfect to fry our gujias now we have to keep the heat on low and add the gujias one by one we have to fry the gujias on low heat to make them very crispy and release the layers very nicely we have to wait for some time until the lower parts of the gujias are not fried well now the lower parts are very nicely white in color now i'm flipping them and on the lowest heat we have to fry them until a nice golden red color it will help our gujias to release the layers very nicely and they will be very crispy and very soft at the same time so let's fry them you may notice that the layers of the gujias are releasing very nicely we have to have patience and fry them until a nice golden red color so let's wait for some time until they are fried well you may notice the change of the gujias and now they are ready they are very nicely crispy now i'm showing you here they are i'm removing them from the oil i'll put them on another strainer for some time to drain the oil very nicely so let's take them out and in the same process we'll fry the rest of the gujias i'm removing them also the layers are very nicely visible as you can see so let's fry the rest of the gujias in the same process and here are the gujias The layers are very nicely visible as you can see and they are very nicely crispy and soft at the same time. I'm breaking one of the gujias. Here it is. It's very crispy as you can notice it. Here is the inside texture of the gujia. It's very tasty and very delicious to eat. It's very special and very popular recipe during our Holi and Diwali. So try this simple recipe and enjoy your Holi or Diwali. 
and if you try this recipe don't forget to let me know about your experience hit the like button friends if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel hope to meet you in the next video thank you so much for watching